In this video, we are going to learn about linear voltage regulator, such as the LM317, and how to build one by yourself. So let's dive in. When a current flows through a fixed resistor, a voltage appears across it. This voltage is proportional to the current that is flowing through the resistor. The voltage will change linearly with the current. If the current is zero, then the voltage will be zero. If the current increases by 10 times, the voltage will increase by 10 times. And that's how a linear voltage regulator works. But how do you control current? The answer is a transistor. More specifically, an NPN transistor, since a transistor is current controlling device. By controlling a very small current flowing into the base, we can control a large current flowing through the collector and emitter. So let's adjust the base current in a way so that we can get a 1 milliamp of current through this 10,000 ohms resistor. We will achieve a voltage of 10 volts. Now let's add a load to this output. The resistance of the load is 10,000 ohms. Now, we will not have 1 milliamp current through this resistor. Instead, 0.5 milliamps of current will flow through this resistor, and 0.5 milliamps of current will flow through the load resistor. And we will have 5 volts here. But we wanted to have 10 volts. To solve this, we need to increase the current coming out of the emitter from 1 milliamp to 2 milliamps. This way, 1 milliamp of current will flow through this resistor, giving us 10 volts. Now, if the load resistance changes, the current demand to keep the voltage at 10 volts will also change. To solve this problem, we can use an op-amp. The output of the op-amp will be connected to the base of the transistor. The negative terminal will be connected to this point to sense the output voltage. Now, if we apply a voltage to the positive terminal of the op-amp, we'll get the same voltage on this output. Now, suppose you short the output. This time, almost all the current will flow through this short, and zero volt will appear here. The op amp will notice this and will try to increase the current, but no matter how much the current increases, the voltage will remain at zero volt. This situation will definitely destroy the transistor, so we must find out a way to limit the current in such situations. We can do that by using another op amp, a transistor, and a shunt resistor. We will connect them this way. Now when one amp of current flows through the short, one volt will appear across the shunt resistor because the resistance is one ohm. This voltage goes to the positive terminal. Let's apply one volt to the negative terminal. Now if more than one amp of current flows through this shunt resistor, then the positive terminal of the op amp will get more than one volt, and this will turn on the output of the op amp. And this transistor will begin to conduct sinking current from the base of this transistor. And that's how the output current is limited to 1 amp. If you apply 0.1 volt here, the output current will be limited to 0.1 amp. So that's how you make a linear voltage regulator. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to become an engineer.